It was only in the winter of his life that legendary ballet dancer Johar Mosaval was honored in his own country. Born in District 6, there were no prospects for the very talented artist when he started dancing under the apartheid regime during the 1940s. But in 1950, fate intervened. Two visiting dancers spotted his talent and assisted him to get a scholarship to attend Sadler Wells Ballet School in London. He would go on to join the Royal Ballet Company. There he was the first black South African to become a principal dancer at this prestigious company and performed, among others, for Queen Elizabeth. His longtime friend and colleague Sharon Paulson says he was a majestic dancer. Are there any more adjectives or superlatives for that? I mean, there's so many, so many critics, UK critics, written about him that he was athletic, he was precise, he was on top of his technique. He did everything correctly as a ballet dancer should. Um, and yeah, he was a great dancer. He was a great dancer. He danced with the greatest in the world. Margot Fontaine, Rudolf Nurev, I mean, those were his colleagues. He was a senior principal at the Royal Ballet. So that alumni is not a big one, I mean, over here. So he stands tall. He's a giant, a giant in the ballet world. Herself a former ballet dancer, Paulson says their love of dance brought them together. He became a friend, mentor and father figure to her. Mosaval returned to South Africa and opened a number of dance schools, which were multiracial in the late 1970s. Government closed the visionary schools, again denying his talent and huge contribution. But before his death, the love and appreciation from South Africa finally came. He wasn't given any recognition um, at that time. So in the past couple of, in the past decade, it was so lovely to see him receive all the accolades, the doctorates, the President's Ikamanga Award in Gold. It was wonderful him to be celebrated. I like that he was celebrated in the way, in a dignified manner, and he, he, he gained what he lost just by telling his story. And I was fortunate enough to be able to be part of that story, to be able to tell that story while he was here. And the two shows we did with him was just phenomenal. It was, and he needed that. And um, it brought back many memories and he basked in the glory of it. He has been described as iconic and a giant in the performing art of ballet, but always remained humble. We bid farewell to Dr. Johar Mursafal, a legend in the ballet world. He will be remembered for his talent, for his resilience, for his hard work, for his kindness. Artscape was so privileged in March in association with the District 6 Museum that we could produce a show about his life. President Ramaphosa said in a statement that the passing of Johar Mosaval is a great loss to South Africa's cultural treasury and described him as an outstanding human being and creative artist. The final curtain on Mosaval's life has come down, but his art, perseverance and courage will live on as inspiration for generations to come. Mariska Boeta is ABC News, Cape Town.